Hello and welcome. This is a lecture series. Please have a paper and pencil ready to take your notes. The better your notes, the better it will be to use those notes later whenever you have an assignment. This series is designed to introduce students to the Oklahoma Academic Standards for 8th grade. This lecture will cover 8th grade, 4th standard, reading point five, eight point four point R point five. The standard reads, students will use a dictionary, glossary, or a thesaurus, either in print or electronic, to determine and clarify the meanings, syllabication, pronunciation, synonyms, and parts of speech of words. Please pause the video and write down what the standard is about. What can you do? Things that you can research, definitions, syllabications, pronunciation, synonyms, and parts of speech words. Whenever we come across a word that we don't know, we can look in a dictionary. We can even go to a search engine on the web to look up a word. Let's look at an example when we look up the definition of a word for an online dictionary. The online dictionary will give us many different things. Notice how it gives us a syllabication of the word definition. The little dots in between each one of the syllables shows us where the syllabication goes. It also gives us the pronunciation right underneath it. See how it, see, it tells us how to pronounce the word? Definition. It also tells us parts of speech and it gives us a definition. It even gives us synonyms. Look, this one has two definitions. This particular online dictionary also gives us the origin of the word. It gives us the origin in Latin, it gives us a little bit of a definition, and it kind of tells it where it comes from. So when we look up words online, we can get many facets of the word that can help us in understanding. Pause the video to take a minute to look at what an example looks like from a dictionary. You can even go online and look at the definition of a word you might have been wondering about. Let's look at a glossary. This is a sample picture out of a glossary. The glossary is an alphabetical list of words that are usually found in that particular book. These aren't real words, but if this was a book, these would be words we would find in that particular book. The glossary is specific to the book that it is in. Here is an example of a thesaurus. The thesaurus lists words in groups of synonyms. For example, the word abandon. It gives you the synonyms for abandon. Number one, to leave, to desert, to forsake, or to strand. And number two, meaning would be to give up, relinquish, surrender, or yield. And then it also gives an example of synonyms that are nouns, wildness, or recklessness. So it tells you that it's either a verb or a noun, and it gives you groups of synonyms. So if you are going to write a paper and use the word abandon more than once, you can look in the thesaurus and you can find many other words to use in its place. It gets kind of boring to read the same word over and over again. A thesaurus is a writer's best friend. Please pause this screen and write down the definitions of dictionary, glossary, and thesaurus. Let's look at the wording of our standard here again. This is standard for Oklahoma Academic Standard 8.4.R.5. Students will use a dictionary, glossary, or a thesaurus, either in print and or electronic, to determine or clarify the meanings, syllabication, pronunciation, synonyms, and parts of speech of words. Now that you understand what this standard is about, please practice these skills. These are the kinds of skills that you can practice on your own. You don't have to have a particular assignment from your teacher or from your parent. Please look up words you're not familiar with. There are a lot of really cool programs that are free in most search engines. So take some time to practice your skills 
and then take your assessments to ensure that you have mastery of the skills. Thank you for joining me today.